Hey guys, Frank Socorro here again for SAE, and I'm about to show you a quick way to use an aux send and return setup for reverb. Okay guys, so we have Pro Tools open, and I wanna go over adding an aux send quickly so that you can do a send return setup for reverb. Uh, basically what that means is that you'll be sending a copy of your signal, not the original signal, to the reverb, uh, and hearing uh, the signal with reverb on the output of that auxiliary track, uh, which is a, it's probably the most efficient way to use reverb. That way you can use the same reverb for multiple tracks on the session. So let's begin. So Pro Tools recently added uh, a really cool function which allows you to pick where you're gonna send the track from and then automatically make a track. Uh, and I'll show you guys how to do that. So basically if you navigate over to your sends, uh, which is what you typically would use for a send to a reverb, uh, instead of picking an output or a bus, uh, actually if you scroll down to the bottom where it says new track, you'll actually get something similar to the new track dialog that you get when you hit shift command N. Uh, once you do that, uh, you can select the type of track that you actually want to create and you can actually label it, which is very useful. So if I go ahead and I label this reverb, it's not going to make a new track, okay? It's actually going to label that track reverb and it's also gonna label the send to it and the input to the track the same thing. So this way now, when I play this track and I send my signal to that aux, I'll get my signal there. Now to complete the entire process, all I have to do now is insert a reverb into my track and I'll pick um, Dverb, which is a classic. And now I can have a track with a send return and control how much signal goes to the reverb from here. All right, guys, well, that was using an aux send to set up a send return reverb setup. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you are interested in more tutorial videos, check us out at sa.edu.